Uh, welcome, your consumer affairs correspondent. This, this is so important in terms of the empty shelves we saw. Uh, there was, there's comedy in it initially, and then you see older people looking at the empty shelves, it's people at the front line who are coming back after a long day's work looking at the shelves going, what, what's happening here? And, you know, it's panic buying, but what are you saying? It is, but I mean, I went into, the, into a couple of big supermarkets yesterday just after the announcement was made by the Taoiseach, Liam yeah. Fradker, and the sense of fear was palpable in every single aisle. People were talking on their mobile phones, they were talking to their loved ones, going, what am I going to get? There's no pasta, there's no tinned tomatoes, there's none of the stuff that I think I need. And the p people were feeding off each other's panic, and as a result, people were buying all sorts of stuff that the reality is they didn't need. So if yeah. I had one message that I could give to the yes. viewers is, and I know that n never in the history of mankind has, everyone, has anyone ever calmed down by being told by somebody else to calm down. <laughs> but true. people need to calm down. Yeah. We have enough food on this island to feed ourselves forever. We're not going to starve. The supply lines are good. The supermarkets can be restocked yeah. every single day. Some of the big supermarkets, some of the big chains, they're restocked eight times a day. So... People aren't going to run out of stuff. But what is happening a lot is that the social media interactions are feeding the frenzy and they're feeding the panic. So two or three weeks ago, people in Ireland would have seen videos of people in Australia fighting over toilet roll. Mm. And then as the coronavirus came closer and closer to here, suddenly something in people's heads said, I must buy toilet roll. Yeah. Now, the thing is, we make our own toilet roll in this country. We're never going to run out of it. Mm. But what people need to do for the next two days or three days is stop shopping and then come Monday they can stop shopping they can start shopping normally again and what you'll see is and I've spoken to politicians I've spoken to retailers I've spoken to logistics people from Monday if people were to just return to their normal shopping patterns the shelves would be well stocked yes. and everyone would be fine and it is terrible to see that and we, there, was, there was no sense of tension and there was no sense of aggression in the supermarkets that I visited but there was there were people being left behind and they were typically older people. They were people who were arriving in the supermarkets yeah. too late. And I can completely understand the panic. It's not irrational, but it's not necessary. Let me ask